Welcome to BK Gardens. Today we are talking grow lights and how you can get started for under $150. When I started growing from seed, started doing some research on YouTube, on the internet, you found a ton of information about grow lights for cannabis, whether I want to become a cannabis producer in my basement or just a recreational consumer and control my own supply. But there was not a ton of information about seed starting and there's still not a ton of about seed starting in a basic um, LED and grow light setup for vegetable gardeners and folks trying to get seed starting going. So this episode is about that. You know, first off, the benefits of why do you want a grow light system? Number one, seed starting. You know, most gardeners and the way I started was I started with starter plants, little plants like this. Here I have some rosemary and basil that you'd buy at, say, your garden center, uh, Whole Foods, your Lowe's, etc. These are commercially available. They're, you're limited when you're starting with starter plants to what's available commercially. And generally, they're gonna sell the, the, the varieties that travel well, that can go to a thousand stores, but not the ones that maybe are the most interesting tasting. They won't be focusing on heirlooms, really uh, amazing variety of uh, vegetables that are out there. So growing from seed vastly expands the possibilities for yourself as a gardener. Number two, here in New York, it's still cold. It's like right now, it's early March. Um, that means our last frost, we're still 15 weeks away. Starting by um, seed right now and getting my seed starting here in New York and like I have, it gives me about a 15 week jump. So instead of planting in late April after last frost, I can start in early March, get the plants in a really good place, make them hardy. And then when I transfer them outside in April, they've already got a 15 week jump on the season. Last but not least is expanding your calendar in a cold environment whether you're in Fairbanks, Fairbanks, Alaska, or here in Brooklyn, New York, hey, we have a good chunk of the year where we can't grow outside because it's too darn cold. Here, what we have is, uh, as you can see, I have some greens growing. It's early March. I've had herbs uh, growing here all, all year. So really, I'm not relying on the hay, just packing all my growing into a four or five month window. I actually think in terms of 12 months out of the year. So that's the the benefits of growing from a, a grow light system. First off is like, how do we get set up with a shelving unit? Let's go take a look. First step, shelving unit. The reason why you want a shelving unit is because this will give you the option of adding multiple lights or as in this case, I bought this in Home Depot about two weeks ago, 10 minutes to assemble, no tools involved, literally um, no screws or anything. 10 minutes to assemble and it's really a good option like this one because I can change the, the height of the where the light's going to be and the shelves. I can switch this into a two shelving system with two lights growing but right now I'm going to have it set up for one. Again, you can buy this. I'll put a few links below. $50, $60 and you are good to go. So next step, let's check out your light options. Okay, so this is the setup. Have the wire shelving completed again took 10 minutes to assemble super easy this is a 72 inch version which gives me plenty of height for clipping on the led light this is a king led light system which i really like it is uh, super strong i've had it for a couple months and it's been doing great whether it was growing my kale or doing some other starter seeds this was awesome it comes with a really good pulley system so i can adjust the the height of it because the strength of this thing is it's for real, I'll give you a quick demo of it. So you can adjust it really easily without having to bother with a lot of wires. Uh, now, quick demo, it also comes with these super sweet sunglasses because the strength of this thing is for real. I love these, whether I'm hanging out with the microgreens or just trying to look cool on Bushwick. Either way, it's a total win. But here's the strength of it. It really kicks off a ton of light Definitely when this light is going, the neighborhood pretty much is convinced that this is ground zero for growing cannabis in Park Slope, Brooklyn. We're not there yet, but potentially a later episode we'll be covering that. Um, you can hear the fans pretty strong. The light is definitely uh, warm. Like I put my hand up here, it's, it's pretty hot. Um, but this thing generates a ton of light and is a great system. We'll put links below about 
you know, what option I think is best for this specific setup. And uh, last but not least, let me give you a, a quick look at what, how this looks with the microgreens underneath it. All right, so here's the final setup. Very flexible, super powerful, gives you plenty of options for growing, whether you're doing starter seeds, microgreens, or trying to grow 12 months out of the year. Hit me up with comments, questions below. Remember, this is a, an easy way to expand the opportunity for you to grow, whether you're living in Fairbanks, Alaska, or here in Brooklyn, New York. Signing off, BK Gardens, this is Sean Duggan putting the sweet sunglasses back on, enjoying the warmth of the LED lights as much as my microgreens. See you soon.